Okay, as you may or may not know, I have to get in line here at school every day and wait till Alex gets out of school to pick him up, to take him home. And I usually do my reading, my enjoyable reading this time of day. And I showed this book when I first started reading it. And let's put a, put a quick plug in for it. It's really cool. It is mainly a reference book but there are there is woods lore in it and it's just kind of really neat if you get a chance to to pick it up and uh i really enjoyed reading it it took a little while it's kind of thick <laughs> but um I, I really enjoyed it and it will stay close to my desk in my office or wherever uh just uh, it'll stay close by but um this video is about something else. Another book. I think I flashed the title earlier, so you probably saw it. You got a sneak peek. But I have always been interested in, is it focused? In the books that were not uh, included in the Bible. And I know there's lots of reasons, uh, or <laughs> lots of theories rather, about why some books were not included and why others were. And from the best I can tell, most of the books in the Bible were included uh, because uh, a, a person, uh, you know, you had to basically be uh, an apostle um, to Jesus. So you would have someone that was, you know, directly uh, close to Jesus or someone, uh, you know, like, I don't know, Abraham or somebody like that who was close to God, so they had, you know, some sort of, and I, I'm not an expert on this, obviously, but I'm giving my impression, and somebody else can probably, I'm, I'm sure I'll hear about it in the comments, <laughs> which is fine, but uh, uh, that's just my impression, that the books of the Bible, they wanted to keep the Bible a holy book as far as they knew, so, you know, they wanted the books to have some sort of clout, you know, uh, you know, uh, real, you know, holy clout behind them. But that doesn't mean that there weren't other things written back in the day. And I wish I could put it right here, but the sun's blocking me out. That doesn't mean that there weren't other books written, obviously, back in the day. So um, this one is really cool. I found this on Amazon, and this has all of the books that you think, you know, that you've heard about or thought, um, uh, well, I'm not gonna say you thought should be in the Bible, but you know, those that we, we talk about that were rejected. You know, you see like the Apocrypha, you'll see them, uh, you'll see the Book of Enoch, whatever, you'll see them in the, individually. But this, ta -da, is a collection of all of them. That's right. So, and I didn't even know about some of these. So, basically, you've got the first book of Adam and Eve. I've heard of that one. The second book of Adam and Eve. The first book of Enoch. That one's pretty, uh, pretty popular. Or, you know, most people will, will know about that one. I mean, Enoch is referenced in the Bible. So, uh, then there's two I haven't heard of. The Jubilees. I'm going to do some research on that. Don't, don't know what that is. And Jasher. I think he's referenced in the Bible. And then the story of Hikar, I haven't heard of that before. Uh, I've obviously heard of Abraham and Thomas, but I didn't know there was an apocalypse of Abraham and an apocalypse of Thomas. And then I've heard of Ezra and, uh, uh, is that Baruch? I haven't heard of that, him, whoever that is. And then here's a neat one, the War Scroll, <laughs> Sons of Dark versus Sons of Light. That should be interesting. And then of course, these are um, the Gospel of Philip. I'm not sure why that one wouldn't have been in the Bible. I guess I'll find out. And then here's a famous, you know, the infamous uh, Mary Magdalene. Uh, the, you know, obviously there's a lot of reasons why that book would not have probably been in the Bible. And then I didn't realize there was an apocryphon 
of John. Uh, and here's a couple of others. Gospel of Thomas. Um, and the Gospel of Judas. And, and then and this, this one was strange. And honestly, I have to admit, I, you know, I grew up in church. <laughs> I'm not ultra-religious or anything. But, I mean, I believe in God, but I'm not um, of any particular denomination. But I did grow up in church, and I had never heard that there was a chapter 29 of Acts that was not included in the Bible. So anyway, it should be pretty interesting uh, just to read through it. And, uh, I mean, this kind of thing fascinates me. Um, even if you're just studying philosophy and, you know, you're studying different religions, uh, you know, when you read... It doesn't necessarily mean that you believe everything you read. You're just reading to learn what others believe, possibly. So, the more you know about other people, uh, the more you know. The more you know about other people's religions and philosophy, the more you're able to know them. So, it's good uh, to get your daily dose of culture. And this is uh, certainly going to be interesting. And I'll let you guys know how turns out I just realized this video is in black and white I'm sorry <laughs> I didn't know it was so anyway just uh, another couple of books here finish that one starting this one and uh, as usual thanks for watching <laughs>